Okay, so today we are looking at how to set up and use a Javis Cam Wi-Fi security camera. This particular one is a CB54 indoor-outdoor uh, dual-band waterproof security camera. So the first things first we're going to do with it, this is a wireless camera, so we need to get it connected and we're going to get it connected. The first thing we're going to do there is we're going to download the app. So the app that you need to download is this OCam Pro app. So you're going to go ahead and download that in, on your iPhone or your uh, Android phone. So come and see me once you get that downloaded. So once you get the app downloaded, it's going to make you create an account. Once you get your account created, then you're going to get to this home page here and we are ready to add the camera. So then what we're going to do with the camera is we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And by the way, you want to make sure that it is charged before you turn it on. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and come to the bottom of it here and you'll see that you have these two buttons here. One of them is the reset button and the other one is the power button. So we're going to press and hold the power button for three seconds and it should tell us to use the app to configure it. So there it turned on. Please use the app for Wi-Fi configuration. There you go. Please use the app for Wi-Fi configuration. Now, this your this app, depending on how you have it set up, it may automatically detect this camera. If it doesn't, all we need to do is hit the Add button, and then allow it to access. Well, actually, so I was just about to do it. Um, so let's see what happens here. So I actually don't need it. I can so I can scan the QR code, but. Please use but actually, I'm not even going to need to use the QR code because just as I was getting ready to use to scan this QR code uh, with this camera, it went ahead and found it. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to it here. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to. Please check whether the device supports 5G Wi-Fi. Okay, so now I'm going to select my Wi-Fi that I have in the house. For Wi-Fi configuration. So now I'm going to use the Wi-Fi. So it's asking me to please enter the Wi-Fi name, which I don't want to do. I want to just... So I actually had to manually enter the name of my Wi-Fi network, which was pretty the annoying. The Wi-Fi connection succeeded. There we go. So it, found, it got connected. Like I said, I had to actually manually enter my the name of my Wi-Fi, which was annoying, and then the, and the password. But anyways... It's doing this now. Now that we're going to let this happen. Then I can give this a name and tell it where it is. I'm actually not sure where I'm going to put this yet, so let's just say that it's in the entrance. Get started. So now it's going to ask us to set up a couple of the settings, and these are some of the default settings, which you'll actually see here. I just got a notification. So if you allow notifications and have an on motion detection, whenever this camera detects motion, it will send you a notification, and this will turn on uh, and record when, when motion is detected. Now, when you get one of these cameras, you get three free days of storage. So basically, Everything it records, it will keep it for three days and then delete it. So you can download it in between that three di three day time period. So if you have this thing running on a loop, it will actually just record three days of video. Um, but if it's doing motion detection, it will keep record those as separate files and keep them for three days. So then we come over to the app, and when we open the app, we have this. We have our camera here, and we can do a couple things. We can go to playback, and it will have the files for all of the videos that it recorded. Another thing that we can do is if we just click on the name of the camera, it will take us to a live view of the camera. From this live view, we can do a couple things. We can uh, you know, speak out of the camera, use it as an intercom. We can uh, do, do a siren. If someone's doing something they're not supposed to be, we can do the, like, you know, the night vision and everything like that. We can turn this light on, and we can also control the motion detection area. If there's an area we don't want it to, you know, do or anything like that, we can we can choose the activity zone, and then we can smudge out areas that we don't want it to record on. And actually, in this live view, we can also manually record. And when we manually record, this will actually automatically download this video to our uh, photo album on our phone. 
that's most of the main things. I'll just show you a couple other things. Under here, we have the power button here. We have this reset button here. Then if we want to put in an SD card, we can put an SD card in here and we can charge it here. And then we have this waterproof gasket cover thing here. And we can also, just to charge it, just pop this out and uh, charge it while keeping the rest of it, everything protected from water. So again, I, I'll put a link to uh, this camera below if you're interested in it. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Um, I'll, I'll respond the best that I can. Thanks a lot for watching.